and sisters welcome to this new episode of sunday with the word of god let us be in the presence of god and invoking his name we begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice ones. Juicy, rich food and pure choice ones. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. The reproach of His people He will remove from, all, from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that He has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Let our response be, I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Response I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Respond, I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Response, I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Response I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I know how to live in humble circumstances. I also know how to live with abundance. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance and of being in need. Him who strengthens me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. May God will fully supply whatever you need and accord and His riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, Glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 22, verses 1 to 14. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready. But those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guest, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. The king said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, life is made up of good times and not so good. It's made up of easy days and difficult days. It's made up of days everything goes our way and days nothing seems to go our way. When God told Israel that he was going to bring them to a land flowing with milk and honey, he was not necessarily talking about a place that would be overfilled with all kinds of wonderful, delicious foods and good days. In fact, the rabbis tell us that this metaphor of a land flowing with milk and honey actually speaks of two lifestyles. One milk, one honey. If you were to divide the promised land Jerusalem as a center of a watch, everything to the left and the northwest is called honey. And everything in the southeast called milk. What does it mean? The rabbi would talk about the land as to lifestyles, one called honey, one called milk. In the northwest part of the country, it's pretty, it's predictable, lots of rainfall, the cities are too big and it's noisy and everyone wants to be up there. And it is signified by date honey. I would like to live there and you too will. When Israel entered the promised land, that's where they went up into the northwest. The problem is everyone else wanted to be there up, including the Canaanites. And we read in the scripture, the Israelites got in trouble with the Canaanite worship. They started to worship uh, uh, the Baal and uh, everything else. And they were driven down to the southeast, which is where there is milk. Milk comes from the herders, from the God herders. Now that part of the country is arid 
and it's dry. It is unpredictable. It is harsh and very little rainfall. But Israel is called to live in a land of milk and honey. There is good and there is more difficult. There's plenty and there is famine at times. And they are called to live in. But there is only one way that they can live in it. And that is they have to totally trust in the Lord. Just like your life, if you go through the average month in your life, there are some honey days and there are some milk days. There are some predictable and unpredictable. There are some rainfall and no rainfall. There's a lot of noise and there is a lot of quiet and aloneness. Paul tells us today in the second reading what the key is here in his letter to the Philippines chapter 4 verses 12. I know how to live in humble circumstances, milk. And I know also how to live with abundance, honey. In every circumstance and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed, honey, and of going hungry, milk, of living in abundance, of being in need. I can do all things in him who strengthens me. My friends, this week I do not know what side you are living on. I do not know it's on the honey side and when everything seems to be uh, going well with you. If you're on the milk side, things are kind of tough and difficult. But in both, we need to totally rely upon the Lord. Not only in difficult times, but also in good times, totally rely upon the Lord. And you see, the secret is that you can do all things in life if you will do it through Christ. St. Paul reminds us today, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Really, I hope
God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find the cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those affected. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Halumsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your families, your dear and near ones, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Rejoice and